Ever felt like your AI wasn't quite on the same page as you? Maybe you asked for a marketing plan and got a list of buzzwords, or wanted data analysis and got vague summaries instead. It's not your AI, it's your prompts. Communicating effectively with AI agents is a skill, and mastering it can unlock your full potential. Two game-changing frameworks for crafting effective prompts are Risen and the Chain of Thought framework. They are not just useful, they are transformative. So let's dive deeper in what these methods are, why they work, and how to use them. First, let's start with the Risen framework. Think of Risen as your prompt building blueprint. Each component works together to help the AI understand your request with laser focus. When you leave uncertainty in your prompt, you force the AI to guess what you want. Risen eliminates that guesswork. Here's a breakdown. First, the R, role. Assigning a role is the first step towards a better AI results. Why? Because context matters. If you ask, write a blog post, you might get something bland and generic. But if you say, you are a tech journalist specializing in AI, you'll set the tone and style before the AI even starts writing. Here's a pro tip. Get creative with roles. Instead of just, you are a teacher, try, you are a seasoned professor who uses storytelling to make complex topics simple. This added detail influences the AI's tone and depth of explanation. Next, instructions. In short, vague instructions lead to vague results. So be clear and specific about what you want. Instead of saying, write a blog post about AI trends, say, draft a thousand word blog post discussing the top three AI trends in 2024. Include examples of real-world applications, potential challenges, and predictions for their future impact. As you can see, we just described what we want in more detail. The more specific you are, the less editing you'll need later. So keep that in mind for your next project. Next is the S, steps. Steps act like breadcrumbs, basically for the AI, guiding it to your desired outcome. When your request involves multiple layers, breaking it down into steps ensures nothing gets missed. Here's an example. Draft a thousand words blog post about the top AI trends in 2024. Step one, start an engaging introduction that defines AI trends and their importance. Step two, write three sections, each dedicated to a specific AI trend, explaining the trend, give real world examples and discuss potential challenges. Step three, Conclude with future predictions and a summary to key takeaways. This approach not only organizes the task, but also helps you review and tweak each step individually. E stands for end goal. Never assume the AI knows what done looks like. Clearly define your desired output. If you need bullet points, say so. If you want refined paragraphs or a chart, make it explicit. For example, the final output should be a polished thousand words article with clear headings, bullet points for key information, and a compelling summary at the end. Ensure it's formatted for easy reading and incorporates at least three keywords for SEO, AI trends, AI technology, and future of AI. And the N stands for narrowing. AI models are great at pulling in information from all over, but sometimes you need them to focus. Use narrowing to exclude irrelevant information. For instance, draft a blog post on the top three AI trends in 2024. Focus on applications in healthcare, education, and finance. Avoid discussing trends in gaming or entertainment. Narrowing saves you from getting irrelevant results and ensures your output aligns with your goals. Why Risen works? It eliminates guesswork, giving you results that are closer to your vision from the start. Oh, by the way, I also have a newsletter you might like to check out, where I share news and insights around AI agents. So, link is in the description below. Now back to the topic. Now, what if your task goes beyond structure? What if you need deeper insights and reasoning? That's where our second framework comes in. It's called Chain of Thought. While Risen structures the task, Chain of Thought taps into the AI's reasoning abilities. When a task requires analysis, reasoning, and decision-making, this framework shines. Here's the secret. AI tends to rush to conclusions when you don't explicitly ask for its thought process. General thought prompts encourage the AI to think out loud, delivering not just answers, but the logic behind them. Now, here's an example in action. Let's say the scenario, should your business open a second location? The prompt, 
Let's think step by step. First, evaluate the current profitability of the first location. Next, analyze the customer demand in potential new areas. Then, estimate the cost of expansion, including staffing and leasing. Finally, weigh the potential revenue against the cost and provide a recommendation. Instead of a one-line answer, the AI will give you a structured breakdown, making its reasoning easy to follow and adjust. Why chain of thought matters. When working on complex problems, it's easy for the AI to miss nuances if you jump straight to the result. For example, if you ask, should we invest in X without specifying what factors matter, the AI might overlook something critical like budget constraints or long-term benefits. Asking for step-by-step -step reasoning avoids that pitfall. Now, what happens when you combine reason and chain of thought? Well, here's an example. Let's say you're writing a blog post about AI trends. You could use reason for clarity and chain of thought for depth. Here's a prompt. You are a tech writer. Draft a thousand word long article on the top AI trends for 2024. Include examples from real world applications and predictions for future development. And with a conclusion, summarizing the key takeaways. If you want the AI to build a logical argument for why certain trends matter, add the chain of thought element. Prompt, explain why each trend is significant. Break it down step by step, starting with its current impact, then its potential growth, and finally, its implications for businesses. Another example would be business strategy. Imagine you are brainstorming a new product idea. Here's how it used both frameworks. The reason prompt, you are a product strategist. Generate five ideas for mobile apps targeting eco-conscious consumers. For each idea, include a brief description, target audience, and unique selling point. The chain of thought addition, for each idea, explain the reasoning behind it. Start by identifying the problem it solves, followed by how it addresses the problem and why it appeals to the target audience. What makes Risen and Chain of Thought Prompt so powerful is how they complement each other. Risen provides structure, ensuring the AI knows what's expected. Chain of Thought adds step, making the AI more thoughtful and accurate. By combining both frameworks, you get a response that's not just useful, but also insightful. Now that we discussed the theory, here's a little cheat code I use for the Risen framework. You can go to ChatGPT and use one of the free custom GPTs. Let's type in Risen. And let's select the first one. Start chat. And now let's give it some basic prompt. Draft a prompt for a thousand word SEO optimized blog post discussing the top three AI trends in 2024. Let's see what the prompt structure looks like. And as you see, it goes through all the steps automatically for us. So you can use this as a first template and still go over it to further optimize it. But this just saves you a lot of time. So mastering risen. And chain of thought isn't just about getting better results from AI. It's about changing the way you think about collaboration with technology. These frameworks help you communicate more clearly, think more critically, and ultimately get more done. So the next time you feel like your AI is off, take a step back. Look at your prompt. With a few tweaks, you can turn vague instruction into precise, actionable guidance. So that's it for today. AI Agent out.